What up, YouTube? Back working on the Monte Carlo SS. Uh, as I said in the previous videos, I was doing the 87 mirror conversion. Uh, just did, you know, most of the body work. Pretty straight for the most part. It has a little high spot. Uh, I'm not too worried about it because I'm actually going to uh, fix all the little dings on the car. So I'm going to wind up blocking the whole door and stuff like that. But I just, you know, I wanted to get rid of the holes that was there from the previous mirror. Um, cause you know, it just, it just looked kind of tacky with them holes in it. But yeah, uh, right now I'm mainly focused on the dry train. It has a little, uh, 355 in it. Uh, I plan on LS swapping in. I also have an LT, but I'm not sure which route I want to go, but, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do in the future. But for right now, I'm going to get the 355 running. Uh, what else? Work on the suspension. I got all this um, UMI stuff, upper and lower. So I went with the non-adjustable stuff because I didn't want to deal with all the adjustments. Um, as far as the inside, <coughs> for the most part, you know, inside pretty good. LED dome light. As I said before, you know, dash straight. Seats are straight. Um, thinking about upgrading the radio, I'm not certain. I mean, in the future, I am going to upgrade. I'm just not sure how soon. Um, nothing wrong with it. I just want to go with a short chassis radio. This is an older model Alpine. I just went with it because I know, you know, the sound quality of these older, the older radios just sound a lot better. I don't know why. They just, they just sound better, man. So, yeah, I went with this Alpine that I had for a while. Um, I didn't have so many radios in this car. Um, Alpine Digital EQ. I got an 87 bezel that I get a double den conversion on. See the cut game. Y'all see how straight that is. But yeah, still can fit all the AC controls. Didn't have to do nothing crazy. It looks stock. Um, I just got to paint it. Did most of the body work on that. So, yeah, man. <clears throat> My goal right now is just to get it running A1. Uh, get the suspension stuff on there. Do a little body work. Uh, just tighten the car up. Uh, get the wheels on here. Uh, I'm not sure what wheels I want to go with. Uh, right now, I got some Asantis. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I got some Asantis. I had them on here. I actually like these wheels. Uh, thinking about getting them powder coated. But um, one of the rear wheels have a lot of repairs on it. So I need to find a, a barrel for it. Um, new barrels are expensive, man. They just not, you know, they cost a grip. So I'm not even trying to go that route. I'm trying to find a nice used one. Uh, when I wasn't really looking for them, I was finding them. Now they're kind of a bitch, but I'm going to find I'm going to find one. I'll probably run these for now. They do use one-inch adapters, but, hey, you know, for the time being, until I either get the frame notch, which I don't want to do, or uh, I find a nice wood that I like that's staggered, that fit the car good. That I don't have to do uh, adapt it with. Uh, I'll probably just run something like this for now. Uh, I'm gonna redo the exhaust. I left the door panel off for now because uh, let's see, because you know, not factory. These cars didn't come with speakers on the door like the Regals and stuff did. So I that's why I got these door panels right here, which adds the speaker. Uh, so I gotta run. A wire you know through the dash into the door both the doors rather uh, also you know this insert right here this is what comes with these door panels um, you can leave it like this and just paint match it if you wanted to but I'm gonna get the carpet I'm gonna order the thin carpet and get some adhesive and put it on there uh, you know just so it could look kind of like the factory door panels with the carpet what else? I'm um, doing the third brake light conversion. I got a new package tray. Uh, so I got to run the wire for that. Headliner's done. LED dome light. Uh, what else? What else? That'll straighten up the wiring. Um, as you know, these old radios, they have a lot more wiring because it was a lot of stuff you needed adapters and boxes and shit for. So I'm getting that together. But everything is wired up and pretty good just kind of making everything neat as i said in the previous video it has new carpet in it 
But yeah, man, just trying to make it a cool little weekend driver. Um, I am going to paint it soon, but you know, for the time being, I just want to get it running and driving so I can, you know, just work all the bugs out to where basically all I got to do is paint it. I don't have to worry about, you know, dealing with stuff after I paint it that could risk scratching it, just like putting rims and stuff on it, you know. Um, I don't want to paint it and then get rims and then find out the rims rub and I didn't scratch up the, the wheel arches and stuff like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's what I'm working on right now. Pretty straight card, man. Original paint, so not too many surprises. I'm going to go get a paint marker uh, and just mark all the deans and go over the deans and block them out. Nothing crazy. It's just like little dimes here and there. Like this little dean right here. Little stuff. Nothing crazy though. Nothing major. Uh, but yeah, man. That's the project. Alright, y'all.